have always been of the view that there are two Bangladeshis. And gratefully, we have a very good friend and ally in Sheikh Hasina. But then uh, we should also be very uh, circumspect about the fact that we're putting all our eggs in one basket. That is, you know, we, if, God forbid, uh, there were to be a rerun of 1975 when uh, the father of the nation of Bangladesh, Bongo Bondu, Sheikh Hasina's father, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, uh, was assassinated with almost his entire family, you know, just his two daughters, Sheikh Hasina and Sheikh Rahana, were, were away. And then, you know, things would go wrong. When I went to the, for a track two in 2016, the international affairs advisor to Sheikh Hasina came to meet me in Dhaka Club. And I, I'm saying this is because uh, I'm a picturing Indian and I think that, I think our policymakers should understand this. He told me that Jaydeep, we need to create an opposition. We do not have an opposition inside the Shaungshad, inside the Bangladesh parliament. Everybody's out there in the streets. And this is precisely what's going wrong. You do not have uh, Ramiji uh, referred to a constructive uh, 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 opposition. They don't, do not have an opposition inside the Shaung Shaung. Everybody's out in the streets. So you see, they're baying for her blood. But more importantly, there are people within the Awami League who would be naturally opposing her policies. And some of these people, and I without naming names, could actually be closer Chinese. The Chinese are trying to sort of have a finger in every pie. And that is precisely why I'm a little concerned about the fact that we are uh, hedging all our, you know, uh, our, our bets on one single person, Sheikh Hasina. God forbid if something were to happen, and we have seen history, and I have read history to an extent, 